taste of one of this. Uh, these drums here, they are called djembe. Djembe, very popular Mexica instrument in Africa, uh, particularly in Mali, Senegal, Kenya, Cameroon. But this one is called talking drum because it talks. We can communicate with it. I can sing with it, I can talk with it, and people who understand my language, they know what I'm speaking about, what I'm talking about. Because in Nigeria, we have a tonal language, so it's very easy for you to play the instrument and speak with it. So this one is called talking drum. But in my own language, we call it dum dum, dum dum. Okay, thank you so much because there's no time. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, let's have a hand for Mr. Bizi Kalawali and his wonderful ensemble. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, everyone? Welcome to the opening ceremony of the African American History Month. This is an exciting time for us. Yesterday, President Barack Obama issued a proclamation for this entire month. And I'd like to read to you an excerpt of the President's proclamation. It reads, the story of African Americans is a story of resilience and perseverance. It traces a people who refused to accept the circumstances under which they arrived on these shores. And it chronicles the generations who fought for an America that truly reflects the ideals enshrined in our founding documents. It is the narrative of slaves who shepherded others along the path to freedom, and preachers who organized against the rules of Jim Crow, of young people who sat in at lunch counters, and ordinary men and women who took extraordinary risk to change our nation for the better. During African American History Month, we pay tribute to the contributions of past generations and reaffirm our commitment to keeping the American dream alive for the next generation. In honor of those women and men who paved the way for us and with great expectations for those to follow, let us continue the righteous cause of making America what it should be, a nation that is more just and more equal for all its people. That is what this month is all about. And that is what Bristol Community College is all about. I'm so proud that our president has been very committed to multiculturalism and diversity, so that not just during African American History Month we celebrate diversity, but every day, every month, every minute at Bristol Community College we are committed to showing respect for each another, for each another's differences, and we celebrate those differences. That's what diversity and multiculturalism is all about. I want, you to, I want to tell you a little bit about what will follow. Mr. Busy Kalawali and his ensemble with his talking drum will lead the festive march around Fall River campus, followed by the raising of the Pan-African flag. And raising of the Pan-African flag is very important. And for those of us who may not understand about the colors, please understand that the colors represent three things. Red represents the blood. Black represents the people and green the land. Now, after everything is over, a sampling of traditional fare and light refreshments will be served following the ceremony 
right back here. So you can't miss that. A calendar of events are on the college's website, but please take note that there is an African American read-in on Wednesday, February the 8th, a continued uh, realities of race in America today presentation by the guest speaker, Derek Jackson of the Boston Globe on Thursday, February the 16th, and a hip hop extravaganza on Wednesday, February the 22nd. Again, these things, these events are on the college's website. But without further ado, before we go on our march, I'd like to present to you the president of our college, Dr. Jack Spraga. Well, thank you, Vice President Garrett, and uh, I hope you like my hat that Tafa provided for me. Um, we uh, uh, always say, I always say the same thing every uh, African American History Month. We don't want it to be just a month. Uh, we want it to be continuous as part of the fabric of BCC in celebrating uh, diversity. Uh, we embrace it. It makes us stronger uh, as an institution. It enhances our uh, classrooms and our learning uh, to bring in all the various perspectives around the globe, uh, and uh, it makes us stronger. So I'm very, uh, very glad to do this. It's not something that uh, it'd be nice to do. It's something we need to do. And uh, we have made great strides in employment, hiring, and uh, in recruiting uh, students. We have a long, long way to go, uh, and we must uh, continue on that path. And we have great leadership in, uh, in Sarah Garrett uh, as our chief academic officer. We're very proud of the work that she does in this regard. And uh, I want to thank the Multicultural Committee uh, with uh, Tafa Awalaju, our uh, vice president, a very very instrumental in its leadership, and uh, uh, Professor Dan Gilbarg, and I, I, don't, I don't want to start naming names, I'm going to forget someone, but uh, very, very happy about the work that they're doing. Uh, Vice President Garrett read off some, uh, some of the events, but please stay tuned as events accumulate. And we're not limited, we're not confined to February 1st to this year, February 29th. We have an extra year this year to celebrate. But we're talking about all 100, 365 days, and more events will, will come into play. Uh, for example, in January, we celebrate Dr. King's uh, birthday uh, and uh, the holiday. And uh, so that's not part of African American History Month, uh, but it, you know, it's crazy to even uh, try to limit us to these 28, 29 days every year. We have women's history coming up. We have uh, Latino history, uh, Hispanic Heritage Month. So uh, we have all of these events, and they're all part interwoven in the fabric of the college, and uh, that's what makes us uh, so terrific. We're such a great institution uh, because of the uh, uh, various perspectives and the differences that we embrace and bring together uh, in a true melting pot uh, for Bristol at all of our campuses, not just Fall River. So I'm looking forward to this uh, uh, parade, if you will, to celebrate part of our celebration. I hope you'll all join us, and uh, we will have food and fare uh, in the cafeteria after this, after the parade, and uh, I, will, I invite you all to take part of it, but more importantly, I invite you uh, to celebrate our diversity, be part, and help strength, further strengthen uh, what we are so proud of here at Bristol Community College. Thank you very much. Tafa, you want to start us all off? Oh, busy. It's your show. Okay, let's go.
Thank you.